actually been uh, approached by all of the key players that are now taking part in the new craze for Helix. Interesting enough, you'll notice that because there's not a marketplace or a way to monetize this kind of activity with the quad cortex yet, these people are not interested in the quad cortex. It's a grifter's paradise out there. Anyway, let me just show you how I created those presets at the start there. Feel free to like, subscribe, help support the channel. Hopefully I'm helping you get something useful out of the Helix without you having to part with too much cash. Wow, the Helix has never sounded so good and all you need to do to get it sounding this good is buy this preset off of me for $15. Um, you can use a code if you want to and I'll give that for you even cheaper. It's been tone matched to my dog and uh, yeah, hopefully um, this might be a preset that interests you. It's actually two presets, so that's two for the price of one. Uh, right, so the compulsive drive is first in the block. We got the gain at five, tone at five, peak low, version two, and level at six. Then we're using the Essex A15, the Vox 3.5 drive, 5 bass, 5 mids, 5.8 treble, cut off, and the channel volume at 8.9. I've turned the sag all the way down, and based on today's discoveries, turned the bias up to 8.6. And after this, I've got a low high shelf, pushing the 150 region, uh, kind of like the heft region, by plus 12 dB. Looks extreme, isn't actually that extreme. We're going into the stock cabs. Um, a dual stock cab. Uh, so on one side we've got the 2x12 Bluebell, 57 dynamic, and the high cut there is at 8 kilohertz default. And then we're going into the silver bell, 121 ribbon, 5 inches away, and 8 kilohertz again. And uh, after that we're going into the dynamic plate my favorite reverb now in the helix 6.4 second decay 11 millisecond pre-delay 6.2 kilohertz damping and everything else is standard except for i've set the mix to 19 percent which is a bit lower than the default at 25 and you get this kind of thing going on <laughs> down a bit so we're not clipping so responds nicely to kind of picking dynamics and stuff as it's an AC 15 and then if we turn on the compulsive drive this is where some of the magic is I really love that um, just because it cleans up really nicely because it's sort of like a tube screamer but it seems to me it's got a bit more kind of top end bites to it. Or maybe it's got led less of a mid push. I don't know. Anyway, that kind of works for me really nicely. And then here I've got a dual delay brought down onto path B which you do by doing this. And we are dealing with Default settings roughly 375 500 milliseconds like the Andy Timmons thing left feedback 71 right feedback 62 left mix 29 right mix 29 and Mod off and when we kick that on we get We've Got a tremolo if we need it. I think this works better for the clean tone
So for me, it's responding really well to picking dynamics and all that sort of stuff. So that's Vox AC15 Wow. And uh, there I've showed you how you can uh, build that yourself so you don't have to uh, furnish my pockets if you don't want to. That is the beauty of the internet. Right, now, the other thing I've got going on here, we're using a little cab that I put together myself. It's like a composite of two own hammer cabs. Uh, get that in the folder if you want it. Now, at the front end, we're using the preamp version of the derailed Ingrid. So this is based on a real life Ingrid, which was the name of a train wreck amp. I've done a video on the history of this one if you want. We've got the drive at three, bass at 10, mid to 8.2, Treble at 2.2, master at 10, channel volume at 7.6, sag at 5, hum at 5, and the bright switch at 1. Um, now this is going in front of the litigator, the drive at 9.1, the bass at 5.6, the mids at 10, treble and presence off, and the channel at 7.5. Sag here is at 5, you could try experimenting with that though. Now I've also got this same low high shelf thing that I've done videos about, that kind of gives you a bit more of that low end heft. <laughs> It is a kind of similar tone to me, it's got a bit more gain though, a bit more creamy. Okay, then um, we've got this JC cab, the high cut down at 3.9. I did a video on this as well. This seems to be a real key to some of the more contemporary tones that don't get spike in the top end using a high cut because we've got a gentle slope of 6 dB per octave. You can get away with that. Then we're using that same set of settings as earlier with the dual delay and into the dynamic plate, 5.8 seconds. 6.6 .6 kilohertz, 19% mix, you know, nothing crazy complicated here. It's just that the Helix kind of wants to sound. Give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. Give Amanda fish. And Amanda will have a fish. Stop asking me to demo tone match uh, presets. I'm not going to do it. Um, also, shout out to people like Steve Stalacci, Jason Sadetis, Alex, uh, Nick Hill. Uh, who else have we got? A few other cats like that who are uh, actually making videos showing you how to use a Helix. I think that's of benefit for the community. Right. Catch you in another video soon. Cheers.